What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be doing a best free tweaks of the week video. Now of course you're not going to have to open up your wallet for any of these tweaks, these are all completely free within Cydia, and I even threw in a free winter board theme just for good measure, so make sure you stick around to the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called Notify Me Again. Now what this tweak does is when you get a banner notification right here, you can either swipe to the right or swipe to the left on that banner notification and it's going to remind you at a certain time period that you set within the settings. So you can see right here first we're going to go into our settings and you can see that you need to enable this tweak right here within the settings panel. Right below that you're going to have your swipe settings. So swiping to the left is going to delay that notification for two minutes. Swiping to the right will delay it for one minute. Now these are of course customizable so if we just tap on this for the uh, left swipe delay. Let's try this again. I'm not sure why that wasn't opening up. So we'll tap on that and you can see that we have all the way down to one minute up to one day. So you can customize this to whatever you'd like. We're just going to do five minutes for a left swipe and for the right swipe we're going to do one minute because I want to actually show you that this is going to work. Now one thing to keep in mind that I actually found out by mistake is if you get a banner notification and you swipe more than once on that banner notification then you're going to get that many notifications. So that's not necessarily very helpful but it is something to keep in mind when you're doing this because you're not going to get any type of uh, animation to dismiss the banner when you swipe across it. So let's go ahead and send myself a message right here and then we have our banner notification so we're going to swipe once, twice, three times and then we should get three notifications again from that same notification within one minute. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. Alright, so we should be coming up on this one minute mark very shortly and you can see right there that we're actually getting one, two, three notifications right there. So that just basically tells you the amount of times that you swiped on that banner notification. Next up we have a tweak that's purely visual but it's something that I'm going to be using on my device so I want to go ahead and show you guys and it's called App Color Close. So usually when you put your device into wiggle mode it's going to give you that X to uninstall an application. Now usually it's just a clear, has a transparent look to it with a little bit of a blur and it's not necessarily something great to look at but with App Color Close it's going to allow you to show these different colors for specific applications. So it's basically taking the main color of that application and then putting it right there for the X when you're in wiggle mode. So it's not necessarily something that's extremely helpful or anything like that but it is a nice visual tweak for when you're managing your springboard. Next up we have a lock screen tweak called Minimal Clock. So let's go ahead and jump to our lock screen here and I'll show you what this does. You can see that it gives you the time over here on the left and then the date right here on the right. So you have this dark gray color right here. That's why I chose this background for the uh, actual lock screen background just because it makes the lettering pop. So you can see that it says 435 and that's what time it is. You'll of course want to hide your clock right here probably just because you want to get that minimal lock screen look. And then right here on the right you have Saturday the 16th. So this is just going to tell you the date right there. So that's all that this does. It's a groovy lock, lock screen theme. So you will have to actually download that. But if you download this tweak, then it's going to automatically download groovy lock for you and install it. It's very simple to set up. All you need to do is jump into your settings here and then you're going to go into groovy lock. So we're going to tap on that, make sure that it is enabled, and then you just want to select the theme to be minimal clock. And like I did right here, you'll want to hide that lock screen clock. Next up we have a tweak called another cool loader. So this is basically just going to change your loading icon in specific places on your device. So the most prominent place for this loading icon is going to be right here in Cydia. So when we open up Cydia, you're going to see a loading icon. Usually you get that little dial, or well, you're not going to get that anymore, you're going to get this new theme as you can see right there where it says loading and then you'll get it right up there at the top as well so I mean it's basically gonna show up anywhere that you get that loader icon and you'll also get it right up here in your status bar when we open up a Safari let's say we're going to look for as you can see right there in the status bar is loading right there and that's basically what it does up there in the status bar so another free tweak to download check out see if you like Next up, if you guys use Shazam a lot, then you're probably going to like this tweak. It's called Shazam on Start. And it's very simple. It doesn't do a whole lot. There's no settings to configure. But what it does is you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up Shazam, it's going to automatically start listening right when I open it up. So you don't have to 
do any other actions other than open up the application and it's going to automatically start trying to recognize that song that's playing in the background. So not a whole lot, but it is something that can be very helpful for those of you that use Shazam a lot. And last but not least, we have our new Winterboard theme called Mandolino. And you can see it's an extremely minimalistic theme. It has a really nice color palette. Usually when you know themers try to do themes like this, they have some colors that just don't stick to that actual color palette that just looks real soft, real nice. And this does a really good job of that. So you can see that we have just a color background with our white glyph right there in the middle on all of these icons. And it has pretty good icon support. It has 120 plus icons. So you can see right here, if I swipe over, then we still have most of our icons uh, themed right here. You can see that After Shift is not an extremely popular app, so I wouldn't really expect that to be themed. But you can see right here, if you do swipe over, then the icons that are not themed really are going to stick out because they just don't fit in with everything else. But this is still definitely a really nice theme and I would recommend checking it out, especially since it's free. Also, if we jump into our settings here, then we're going to see that we have our icons right here all themed as well. Now, that's basically all that this does. It's not going to uh, do anything for the control center or anything like that. This is strictly icons, but it's still, in my opinion, worth checking out. All right, guys, so that's the best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you want to see more best free tweaks of the week, then make sure you hit that like button and let me know by commenting in the comments below. All right, guys, until next time, peace.